All right, fellas, here we are back in Pokemon Masters. And so today here, we're going to take a look here at Cygnusuit Chris and Suicune with their EX roll unlocked, which is the Sprint roll. So, I mean, I could sit here and say I wanted Field the whole time, which I do, and I still do, and Sprint is an option. <laughs> I'm kidding. I don't think I really can complain too much about Chris getting Sprint when Kalem got Tech. So I mean, at the I guess at the the bare minimum, it's not one of the negative. Okay, it's not no ex roll is negative, but it's not one of the ones that is providing next to nothing for her. Right, sprint is still solid. The only problem that I really have with sprint being her ex roll, other than the fact that it you know makes it so she doesn't have field, is the fact that there is not much like sync utilization for water types like obviously a whole set of you know minus three sync countdown is going to be great for pretty much any situation universally but it's less so that it's you know good because it is good but it's more that there's not much to build off of it a lot of the time the more notable like sync acceleration water characters pretty much that i can notice uh and remember mostly just comes down to uh dojo gloria who is a minus two, uh, well, minus one off of each uses of her trainer move, and then you can give her, like, head start one or something. That's the most sync countdown I tend to see in relation to water types, and, like, Archie's rainy propulsion as well, and I'm sure there's some other options I might be forgetting or, you know, lacking or whatever, but for the most part, like, while sprint is a good role for her, or an effective role, I guess, or whatever, it's something you don't really build off of unless you're using her without water types, in which case she could be a decent universal, like, special support with her special moves next, buffs, you know, special attack buffs, crit, all that, sustainability with mini potions, yada yada, she could be, you know, good for that in a more universal situation. There are definitely better options, right? So I feel uh, that if they wanted to do something with Chris to make her better giving her field would have simply been a better pick because it would have made her a lot stronger in a role that she already tries to fill which is a rain setting support character and i think that'd be better than sprint which is again minus racing countdown is good but for one not better than an you know extended rain right and it's not better and it's not really something that a lot of characters that you want to run with her can you know stack off of very well so that's kind of what I've um, noticed when using Chris or like trying to team build for Chris. So I've, I pretty much just got two battles lined up. I've got an ultimate battle versus Annabelle as well as a little bit of a sync acceleration type of battle, which I'm not really the biggest fan of how that one turned out. I mean, it, it worked, but like, nah, whatever. You'll just have to see it when we start. So I guess let's just go ahead and look at Chris with the sprinty X roll unlocked. I don't have much else to say here. Alright, so first battle is against Annabelle, uh, where we're going to be utilizing Champion, not Champion, uh, Bixleaf and Champion Serena. Okay, so usually in a lot of my runs versus Annabelle, I tend to use any mix of, like you've seen, Chris and Serena, but this time I opted to go with the newer option, Mixleaf, because of her debuffing ability, that's nice. One thing that Chris does lack that's, like, really solid for pretty much any ultimate battle is debuffing. Like, she lacks offensive debuffing specifically, which is not great because chris uh her defensive buffing ability is not fantastic her special defense is fine right plus four in one turn and then having a plus one off of each uses of trainer move if you end up picking that up in the grid that's all fine more so the physical side of things which is lacking because she's got like stoic four on brine which is for one rng and for two you have to use brine which she already wants to use rain dance mini potions and her trainer move so having to fit in slots to use brine for just a 50 percent chance of plus one defense for the whole team is it's going to require a long battle, and also, for the most part, not really going to be too much, too great. Um, when I when I did the intro, I did end up failing to mention that an option like uh, Champion Serena does work well with Chris, because Champion Serena does also have minus uh, one or two, I forget, sync countdown on her buddy move. I'm pretty sure it's minus one sync countdown. Off of her buddy move, where is it? that's able to work very, very well with Chris, uh, at least after her initial sync move, to where you're able to get in. Uh, the, the sync move, like, pretty much, like, one turn or so after, uh, you use your sync move initially, so it's, it's very good, of course, for getting in, uh, an extra, <laughs> extra good amount of sync moves, right, that, that's definitely obviously good, sure, so, that is nice, and of course, Chris still maintains her ability to apply a lot of, de uh, not debuffs, apply a lot of extra damage for the team with special moves next buffs and the rain setting, of course, as well, the healing itself is also quite strong, 
all that. Not much else really to say there. It's, it's, it's still, she's still good at it, of course. And again, I did end up bringing the, uh, quote, newcomer uh, in the form of Mixed Leaf to this fight over someone like you seen or whatever, simply because she applies better debuffs and whatnot. So the, while the Sprint DX role doesn't really make a massive difference in this battle, because frankly, it, it just doesn't, uh, it does, I mean, help a little bit, I guess, in terms of just making the fight easier, obviously. I mean, that's one thing. It's probably, it's a pretty similar case, I, I, I guess, in, like, a lot of the legendary in a battle she does. Like, it's not, it's not that her getting the EX roll makes a lot of those battles uh, possible. It's that it more so makes them easier, which, at least, that's what I've seen being, like, tossed around and whatnot, which is why I did not to do any, like, legendary gauntlet battles with her. It's just that her buff didn't really do anything. It made those battles a little bit easier, but didn't really change much of the RNG level I've, I've seen to notice a little bit, and it, like, didn't really matter too much, so didn't really feel like doing a battle for that when it wasn't really necessary at all, so I just kind of stuck around with what I did here with uh, the ultimate battle and the champion stadium battle later on in the video. So again, that's just one thing with Sprint, is like, yeah, the minus 2 sync countdown's good and all, but there's nothing to build off of it, so it's not as if it's a, like, massive buff that is, like, game-changing for Chris. It's just one that she got. It, like, again, not a bad thing. Definitely, like, none of these buffs are ever going to be, quote-unquote, bad. It's just that they don't really do much to make her significantly better in any way. That's, and that's one thing that is definitely unfortunate is that, like, Chris is a character that definitely could use a buff. It's not as if Chris is already a broken character. She's not bad by any means, but getting a buff in the form of, you know, for example, again, the Field EX role would have been really good. It would have given her a far better niche as a rain-setting support, and it would, would have made her better at that job. But in this instance, it did not make her better at that job. She is still just as adequate at that job as she was before, not really excelling in it, but still being good at it. So that is still something that I really do wish they would have built upon a little bit more. But I mean, at the very least, again, it does make some battles that she does, whether that be via Gauntlet or Ultimate Battle or whatever, slightly easier. Maybe it helps in some situations with some specific team builds in some ultimate battles, you know, for like a pre-second sync clear or something like that, but I'm not really too sure, and I haven't really theorycrafted too much on it. Alright, and final battle here is with Dojo Gloria and Riley to again make a little bit more abuse of that sync acceleration that Chris is able to provide. And I mean, in this setup, it does well enough, right? But it's more so that this setup is something you would never, like, really try to run. Dojo Gloria is a fine enough partner to put with Chris. I mean, they don't really... Obviously, Gloria does not benefit off of the special moves next, which is, again, why this setup is more iffy than anything. But also, <laughs> I mean, she works off the rain, right? That, that's one good part is she does work off the rain. But outside of that, not really too much, right? I mean... It, it's whatever, though, I guess. Probably should have gone for Max Knuckle, frankly, to make Riley's damage a little bit better with his attack buffs, but it's fine. I went for the defense buffs over that, just because we need to tank a little bit better here. Um, how do we go about saying this? This was a fine enough setup, right? Riley does not synergize here really at all. It's just he really works off the defense debuffs that Gloria is able to provide and tries to provide his own with, like, Iron Tail Honor Roll and whatever else, but for the most part, it does not really matter. So, frankly, just not that big of a deal. Uh... Gloria is mostly the big one here. Riley's mostly here for extra sync countdown, and I mostly also just chose him because he was free, <laughs> right? Like, he was a free option to pick, so I went ahead and went with it. Probably should have gone for the trainer move there over the mini potion, but that's, again, fine. It doesn't really matter too much. And there's also something to note is that this battle's really helped out by the fact that Drake also sets rain, so in, in effectiveness, he's helping us more so than he's punishing us. So, uh, yeah, anyway. We got decent enough damage here again because of the rain that Gloria works off of so much. Does help out there. We also get the max move. That's also very helpful to have as well. Do have to worry a little bit about that. Dragalgy Surf should have killed the move a little bit better, but that's fine. It's not the big of a deal. <laughs> yeah, again, it's it's more it's pretty difficult to really say that Chris's uh, sync countdown is more than just like satisfactory or more than just an additional small thing for her when she can't really have like a big way to have attempt partners that actively benefit off of it right like again you sync countdown is universally good minus three is universally good for any setup she's going to be in but it doesn't really excel her to any you know better stronger level of play simply because 
I mean, it, it, it's good, but it's not that massive of an upgrade on top of what she already tries to do. Whereas, in my opinion, Field would have been better for that, or for at least versatility in her setups and, like, what partner she might be able to run or, like, what grid she might be able to run. Like, a lack of having to ever pick up Rain Dance NPR would have been nice and stuff like that, but whatever. That's my thoughts about uh, Signature Chris's EX roll down in the comments below. Again, I don't think it's bad. I really do not, but I just do wish it was Field instead. I do think that would have been better for her, but can't really, uh, <laughs> not really worth, I guess, crying over spoiled milk and just throw <laughs> throw it out yes let's throw out our signature chris <laughs> i'm kidding i invested in her for a reason so i can't really complain too much whatever though i'll see y'all later hope y'all enjoyed uh good luck if you're summons if you're summoning uh doubt of mine should be soon update whatever and uh yeah i'll see y'all later hope y'all enjoyed